Righty, I'm going to show you the last part of uh, with your collar graph uh, after you've done the block. And um, I've, I've uh, at this stage only put the ester pull on this side. So I still need to put ester pull on the back before I do any ink work. So I'll do that today. Alright, but uh, I can still show you the embossing type print. So if you can make sure that you can see here, thanks. So get rid of any other distractions, please. All right, now this paper is a thicker printing paper and it's also a watercolor painting paper. And we've got a variety of them. So you've got some that are Canson, some are Reeves. They're all in around about 250 GSM, which means they're relatively thick. And there's also a texture to them. Some of them have a greater texture than others. Uh, but the thing is, that as they are, these are these have been pressed, and the fibres tend to be quite compacted. So to open up the fibres, we just need to wet them a little bit and allow the water to soak into them for a little bit. And this is a water. So this is water, it's nothing else that's in it, and um, this is only for spraying onto your paper, if you get the idea there. No. Okay, now after doing that, we've left it for a little bit, we'll take a bit of butcher's paper, so there's some butcher's paper on the bench over there. I'm going to use the butcher's paper to um, get rid of some excess water. So it's like a tea towel. And you'll feel how much more bendable the paper is after you've done this. So the whole idea is that we want the paper to be far more malleable. So it'll pick up all of the... Um, all of the bumps and everything that are on the block. So I'm going to do two. <coughs> um, hopefully my block will go all the way through. <coughs> so I'll bring the plate out as far as I can, or the, the uh, press out as far as I can. Putting it in as close to the roller as I can. Um, it doesn't really matter if the wet side is up or down because we're getting uh, the paper has basically got water through it. Uh, so when you place it on, just hold it, you know, place it at one end there and just let it drop. We can do a bit of an adjustment. Okay, so our aim is that we should be able to just see a pressed piece of paper with no ink on it. Let me end up with that. <coughs> 